it's Michael with Outside Science Inside Parks. And for this episode, hey guys, could we turn the lights down a little bit? And maybe switch to infrared? That's better because the stars of this episode love the dark. No, not vampires, sea turtles. Turtle this stands for teens helping in the seashore. We're at the dog beach on Pensacola Beach and we're waiting for a turtle nest to hatch. Light pollution is a big deal to a baby turtle because they rely on the moonlight to get to the ocean and having those lights from hotels and street lights, it distracts them from their true point and they end up going into roads and houses and being killed by different predators and cars. And so we're taking light data measurements in order to see the change in light so we can see where the turtles are going and why they're going there. We're going to be measuring uh, intensities of light in a 360 degree radius in front of the nest. The top one measures a non-filtered light and then the bottom one measures blue filtered light. 14.05, 20.18. Okay, so the non filter is how humans see, but the blue filter is actually how the sea turtles see. So that's going to show us how our light pollution that we are making on the mainland, how it's going to affect the sea turtles. The horizon is five degrees. But I think it's such a useful exercise for these kids to have to think a little bit about how something so different from them sees the world and thinks about things. They have to think a little bit about what a turtle sees and how a turtle experiences its environment. The Turtle This program actually in conjunction with the National Park Service, we designed some light meters where we could actually have the kids go out and acquire some good hard data on you know what the lighting situation is in different areas. Four at 90, yes and we're just hoping to use that data to try to document what areas could be improved. How would we do that? And here's what you wanted to see, a turtle birthday party. I generally take an interest in, in cultivating future scientists and you know the youth in general, even though I'm pretty young myself. Uh, getting them involved with uh, protecting the habitat of uh, sea turtles and also getting involved with the, um, the local issues involving sea turtles and uh, their nesting habits and how their nesting habits are getting affected by the ambient light of cities. I know that the future revolves around these young people and what their interests are and what they're going to be doing for the future, what their plans are. Get kids caught on the science, get them out on the field, teach them how cool it is to watch those turtles come out of the ground and watch all the cool stuff that goes on out at the beach at night. Personally, I, I like learning about like sea turtles and animals and stuff. Science, that's my pathway. I'm planning on going into marine biology. Um, before I started doing this work, I was like, I don't know what I would want to do, but it's made me think a lot, and I've been wanting to go more into environmental science. And a turtle just laid its eggs last night. We're at a relocated nest, and we're taking the light measurements at the original nest. It was too close to the water where the high tide line could have reached it and it would have drowned the nest and the eggs. If we don't conserve now, there's, it's not gonna be there in the future for other kids like me that wanna learn about sea turtles. If we don't continue saving these sea turtles, kids like me won't even know what a sea turtle is later on. With young people like that, those turtles are in great hands. Thanks so much for watching our video. You can check us out next month as we take a backpacking trip through Denali National Park in Alaska.